This lesson will review how to find derivatives of exponential and log functions that are not base e that require the chain rule. We're asked to find the derivative function of each given function. First we have f of x equals two times seven raised to the power of the sum of three x squared and two. Looking at our derivative formulas on the right, because we don't have base e, we're not gonna use the derivative formulas where the base is e, we'll use the derivative formulas where the base is a. And because the exponent is not just x, it's three x squared plus two, we have a composite function, and therefore we have to apply the chain rule, and therefore we'll use the derivative formula on the right that includes the chain rule, which is a derivative of a to the power of u with respect to x equals a natural log a times a to the power of u times u prime. Notice in our case, the base a is seven, and the exponent of three x squared plus two is u. Let's also determine u prime. u prime is a derivative of three x squared plus two, which is six x. And now if it's helpful, we can think of the given function as just two times a to the power of u and differentiate with respect to x. This indicates that f prime of x is equal to two times the derivative of a to the power of u with respect to x, which again, following the formula exactly, is just natural log a times a to the power of u times u prime. And now we need to write this back as a function of x by substituting seven for a, three x squared plus two for u, and six x for u prime. This gives us two times natural log seven times seven to the power of u, which is seven to the power of the sum of three x squared and two and then times u prime, or u prime is six x. Now to simplify, we can multiply the two and the six x and get 12 x. Let's write the derivative function as f prime of x equals 12 x times natural log seven times seven to the power of the sum of three x squared and two. Now I realize after doing these a while, you may not have to show this much work, but it's often helpful to identify a, u, and u prime and write them down when first learning the chain rule. And remember, it's never wrong to apply the chain rule. If we let u equal x, for example, notice u prime is just equal to one. Next, we have g of x equals negative three, log base two of the quantity 12 minus five x. Looking at our derivative formulas, we won't apply the derivative formula where we have the derivative of log base a of x with respect to x, because our input is 12 minus five x, not just x. We'll apply the second formula here on the right that includes the chain rule which is the derivative of log base a of u with respect to x equals one divided by the product of natural log a and u times u prime. Notice for g of x, u is equal to the input of 12 minus five x. And also a is equal to two because a is the base of the log. So we have a equals two, we have u equals 12 minus five x, and therefore u prime is equal to the derivative of 12 minus five x, which is negative five. And again, if it's helpful, we can think of the given function now as just negative three log base a of u. This indicates that g prime of x is equal to negative three times the derivative of log base a of u, which again is one divided by the product of natural log a and u times u prime where again, a is two, u is 12 minus five x, and u prime is negative five. This gives us negative three times one divided by the product of natural log two and the quantity 12 minus five x times u prime, which is negative five. Let's go ahead and simplify. Negative three times negative five is positive 15. Let's write g prime of x as g prime of x equals 15 divided by the product of natural log two and the quantity 12 minus five x. I hope you found this helpful.